Hello boys and girls. We are going to listen to our story from yesterday called The Pine Tree. Now buried inside of this story is our vocabulary words. We need to be vocabulary detectives and see if we can find the vocabulary words that are hidden in the text. Remember our words that you just discussed in the other video are develop, amazing, enormous, imagine, and content. And then at the end of the story, I'm going to have two questions for you. So you need to listen carefully so you know what the answers are. Put your listening ears on nice and tight. And here we go. The Pine Tree, based on a fairy tale by Hans Christian Andersen. How does a tree change as it grows? A young pine tree lived in a great forest near a clearing. He enjoyed watching the animals, feeling the morning sun on his branches, and resting in the cool afternoon shadows. The pine tree was very happy with his life. One day, a truck burst into the clearing. A logger cut down several of the enormous adult pine trees. Whack! 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 went his axe. Then the logger loaded up the trees and drove away. I wonder where my tree friends are going, thought the little pine tree. Then he spoke to three young sparrows sitting on a nearby branch. Would you please follow those big trees, he asked. I want to know what will happen to them. The sparrows shook their heads in agreement and flew away. Were you listening? What vocabulary word did you find buried in that part of the text? It was the word enormous. The logos cut down some of the enormous trees. Let's go to the next section and see what you can find there. The first sparrow followed one of the huge pine trees. She flew high above the tree as it rode on the truck. After a long trip, the truck finally stopped at a building near the ocean. For many weeks, the sparrow watched the tree. Busy workers used tools to cut and shape the tree into a mast. Then they attached the mast to a large sailboat. Two days later, the boat sailed out to sea. The sparrow quickly flew back to the forest to share her news with the little pine tree. The big pine is now the mast of a beautiful sailboat, she said. I watched it sail away this morning. That sounds amazing, said the little pine tree. I don't want to be small any more. I want to grow up so the loggers will cut me down too. I want to be part of a sailboat. I want to have adventures on the ocean. The sparrow chirped back at the pine tree. I think you should be happy where you are, right here in the forest, she said. What vocabulary word did you hear there? The pine tree said that would be amazing. Remember, amazing is something that's really, really great and wonderful. So he thought it would be great and wonderful to be an enormous pine tree that was made into the mast of a sailboat and get to go sailing all over the world. Let's look at the next section. We found two vocabulary words. See if we can find any more. The second and third sparrows returned to the forest after a few months. They told the pine tree what they had seen. I followed two of the big trees to a factory and then to a house, said the second sparrow. The trees were used to make a wooden window seat. Every night I sat outside a family's home as a mother, a father, and two children sat on the seat and read stories together. Then the third sparrow chirped about what she had seen. I followed the rest of the trees, she said. I flew far away to a dusty lumber yard. I waited for a long time to see what would happen to the trees, but nothing did. The trees are still stacked up in a pile, and they are starting to rot away. The pine tree thought for a moment. I wish I could be made into a window seat. 
I would love to hear stories and children's laughter every night, but I imagine that lying in a pile in a lumber yard wouldn't be very fun. Better to stay where you are, said one sparrow. What vocabulary word did you hear there? I heard the word imagine. Do you remember what imagine means? It means to picture something in your mind and to be able to see in your mind how it would happen. The little pine tree didn't imagine that laying in the lumber yard would be very much fun. Three more years passed. The seasons came and went, and the young pine tree changed. It grew twice as tall as it was when the logger first came to the forest. It began to develop thick, brown cones and seeds. Even its needles became longer. Then, on a spring day, the three sparrows visited the pine tree. Do you still wish to be cut down? one of the sparrows asked. No, the pine tree replied. I am much wiser now. If I were to become a ship, I would miss the birds and the other animals here. If I were to become a window seat, I would miss the fresh air and sunshine. And if somebody were to dump me in a lumber yard, I would never again get to feel the soft ground around my roots. I'm content here in the forest. We are happy here too, said another sparrow. We have explored many places, but the forest will always be our home. Over the years, the little pine grew into a strong, tall tree, and the logger never came to the forest again. So what vocabulary words did you hear in that section? I heard the word develop. The pine tree began to develop thick brown cones that held seeds. What do you think those seeds might do once the cones fell to the ground? They might develop into little tree pine trees also and become the big pine tree's children. Also, the little pine tree, or in this case, now the big pine tree, was content to be in the forest. What did it mean that he was content to be there? He didn't want to be any place else. He was happy right there where the sun could shine on him. He could be in the fresh air. His roots could sink deep into the soil. He was perfectly happy to be in the forest. He had changed his mind. He did not want to be a ship. He did not want to be a window seat. He wanted to be right where he was at. And that leads us into our questions. Why was the pine tree content at the end of the story? He was happy, wasn't he? He was happy to live in the forest and grow there. Why did the pine tree say, I imagine that lying in a pile in a lumber yard wouldn't be much fun? He could picture it in his mind, and the picture he got in his mind is that it would be very lonely to lie in that lumber yard, and it would be very boring because you wouldn't have the animals around you. You wouldn't be able to sink your roots into the soil. You'd just lay there and not become anything, and that doesn't sound like very much fun at all, does it? Thank you for doing this story with me, boys and girls. Be sure to go on to the other videos.